This playthrough is rated T for teen. And now it's time for your favorite episode of Muscle Vampire and Little Princess. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von are back here with another episode of Shadowheart's Covenant. In the last episode, we is, uh, we found out about Uka and the three apes and uh, Yuri, and then we're able to get off the battleship. And uh, we found out Kuroda, uh, or Karanda has the power similar to Yuri. Why is he? Why is it so similar? Hmm. Anyway, good to look around more. Anyway, we're playing as uh, uh, Joaquim and Anastasia right now. Horiuchi is setting out on a trip. I'm going to take a trip from Tokyo to Kyoto. It takes quite a lot of planning. All right. How about you, kid? Yep. Well, I'll talk to you here in a second as soon as the game lets me. Ah, he walked through me. He's a ghost. Shota the Edo, Edoite. It doesn't Shota basically mean child? Anyway, this is just Japan's capital. The imperial city of Greater Tokyo. Beautiful, huh? It rivals its western counterparts. Uh, must talk to you. Su uh, Susang Yamato. Eight years from now, this place will be devastated by the great earthquake. Only those who believe can be saved. Oh, you're one of those people. Andrew and the professor. There are terrible murders going on here in the city that make your hair stand on end. It's some monster, bigger than a tiger or a bear, and it eats humans. Can you believe it? Believe it! Wait, didn't we see something about that? Anyway. Just fine to just see Joaquin running around, just just like with his legs all akimbo there, so... Okay, you are saying the same thing. I think we talked all the... Anyway, if we check over here, we get the tower card for... Uh, Lucia there. So let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, let's see. Where are you, tower? There you go, tower card. This card depicting a tower destroyed by lightning signifies a cataclysmic event. Reversed, it signifies liberation. If drawn, money is doubled. Yeah, if only we could guarantee that dropping all the time, but... Anyway, oh yeah, did I go over... Let's see, was there any new library stuff from the episode? Yeah, the armored fighter. Uh, Japanese Imperial Army bipedal mecha prototype. Although this model is unmanned, a piloted version is currently under development. And then we got Suki Yomi. Moon goddess inhabiting the body of Karando. Noble and cold, she wields the power of the moon mercilessly against any foul or impure creature. Para para. Yin and yang fortune telling tool. One side portends luck in battle, while the reverse side signals doom. Its eerie laugh chills the blood of all who hear it. Well, I don't want to hear its eerie laugh. Don't don't laugh at me there, dog. Anyway, sorry. Gaki, dead spear, cursed for its sins to wander the earth forever without passing on to the afterlife. Its horns and burning right hand are the mark of its sin. Noah Mass, frightening collection of Noah Mass left by the mad and heretical drama master. They appear each night to frighten innocent souls. Garan, eccentric but powerful yin-yang master that floats in the air atop a mysterious flying pillow. His powdered white face is lined with deep uh, creases, and apparently he's gross. So, anyway, character-wise, do we get a new one? Yeah, Dr. Hojo, head of weapons development for the Japanese Imperial Army. With his head deeply buried in his research, he has no interest in political realities. Huh, weird about RPGs about, actually, technically the first Hojo I remember was Fall Fest 7. I was about to say, Japanese RPGs make an evil scientist called Hojo, but... Captain uh, uh, Pachiro Hyuga. Yeah, they changed his design slightly from the first game. He's more... Maybe it's because he's younger in this game than in the original game. Because in the original game, he was more manly looking. This one, he looks about a child. But he's probably like 19 here or something like that. A lieutenant commander of the Japanese Navy in 1893. He was sent to Asia on a top secret mission along with his Russian wife and three-year-old son. And of course, he doesn't beat Dehua. It's uh, his son and a bunch of colorful characters that beat him. So... Weirdly enough, that seems such a small part of the overall game, being Dewa. Uh, you know, it's all about Albert Simon, but it is the first part of the game, you know. Oh yeah, let's look at our score here. We're at Tengu right now. Not bad. Uh, for perfect success rate, we're a little low. There's a reason for that. This is probably one of the only times in the game that success, uh, score rate will actually affect something. I'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, you, for those who don't know, very few people know about this, but I'll go over it anyway when it becomes uh, pertinent. Yukari from the park. Haven't you eaten yet, young man? I work at the place up ahead. Why don't you give it a try? It's full of pretty young girls like me. I'm sure you'll like it. You're talking to the wrong guy when it comes to that. I mean, there's straight up dialogue that tells you what jo uh, Joaquim's like, personal preferences are, if you choose them for Victoria's uh, uh, session. 
Uh, Fusoku returning from the shops. They started selling instant curry in this area last year. It's such a big hit. It sells out in an instant, too. I saw it to this lady. Uh, Rich Okatsu. Have you heard? Apparently some gentleman opened up a strange training school at Nihon Bashi. Strange gentleman, huh? I wonder if he's from a certain country. Mm -hmm. We might have to check that out. I saw it to this guy. Uh, curious Hikosaburo. Hikosaburo. The Impa even dispatched the Iron Soldiers to track down the monster, but they haven't found any clues yet. Do you know about the Iron Soldiers? Friends of the people. Uh, guardians of the Emperor. They're the best of the best. Best of the best of the best, sir! How about this guy? Wakamatsu raised as a samurai. Already 50 years since the end of the Tokugawa Shogunate. History moves so fast. Us old folks can't keep up. And that's when they changed out where you can't, Samurai can't carry swords. Uh, well, actually, it was the Meiji area where they couldn't carry swords and stuff like that. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, if we check, I believe it's this door. Yep. We get a Daphne fruit. Alright. Let's head over this way. And here we'll find a... Uh, what the? Those flags look similar. Hmm. Let's check it out. I wonder if there's... Yep, the Great Gama is here from, uh, from Europe. Trembling uh, Iwakami. The Pock. The Pock's just brought to hang out of weirdos now. Well, you're not wrong. Yeah, the Great Gama's here, so we'll talk to him in here in a second. Cool and critical Shohei. Pro wrestling. Just staged, right? Talentless guys practicing around half naked. What's so great about it? I used to actually like watching wrestling because I know it's, well, it's fake in terms of the story, but the actual, like, what they do in the ring's real, so... Take with that as you will. So, it's just over the top, just goofiness when you really think about it. Uh, Atsushi, the pro wrestling fan. I never thought I'd see the day wrestling came to Japan. Ah, oh, it's great to be alive. Wrestling is actually pretty, uh, like, uh, uh, like, uh, the wrestling is similar to what, what we have in America is actually pretty popular in Japan, or at least it was for the longest time. Anyway, there's a treasure chest over there. Let's grab that. Here we get the Booer crust over here. Let's see, and then there's an item over here-ish, I think. There it is. Almost forgot about this one. You get a lottery ticket here. Uh, let's see, and there should be a should be a new item here. Uh, uh, or not a new item, just some random people here. Not that it's going to mean anything, right? Right? Oh no, not again. What does he found this time? Hmm, a nice MC's desk. He doesn't really care what he picks up anymore, does he? Many a fierce battle this folding desk has witnessed, sometimes even breaking the fall of a throne thruster. And then one day, during a free-for-all, forgotten and left behind by the commentators and audience alike. I wonder if he's going to cry again. Did he just steal their desk from right in front of them? Yep, he steals the MC's desk for walking in there. Ah, it's flimsiness, it's cheap frame. The deep pain of a wrestling organization with no money cries out to me. I think he's remembering something. Something has passed. Well, let's go, everybody. Say, I know, instead of using the top as a bludgeon, I should chop the enemy with it. Yeah, good idea. I wonder what he was remembering. I really want to know now. You can do this later with everyone in the group to uh, uh, get some... I think Yuri says some stuff. But it's mainly Anastasia who talks. But anyway, yeah. And they don't say anything. They just stand there. But anyway, uh, we get the MC's desk. The 19th century wrestling sensation Bill Yamagata took out eight sumo wrestlers with this desk. Sturdy and flat, just like a bludgeon should be. This game is so silly. Anyway, Hirotoshi, the commenter. Gamma's really in great shape today, eh? His muscles are rippling more than ever. It promises to be a tremendous event. Ah. So Asia's king of the titans, the great Gamma, is waiting eagerly for challenges at the base of the ring. This is from Tatsu, uh, Tatsu Chiro, the live reporter. This is Tatsuhiro Furai, reporting on today's events. Now over to Hirotoshi Yamato for the commentary. There's the other ring there. Yeah, they don't even say anything. And there's the brothers there, so... Uh, I don't think there's really anything I need to get them from them. Yeah, you say the same thing. 
Oh dear, what's this? Why the stony face? It's got... What are you doing here again? Written all of it. We came all the way along the Silk Road. Don't say we've come halfway around the world to be told you're not buying. I'll buy. Uh, wait, uh, I think Waki even said something about I'm not allowed to have a wallet. <laughs> uh, I don't, let's see. Uh, I don't think anything really... I mean, I could buy... Well, might as well buy the Kendo armor just because uh, we're about to fight Gama. And there's a new sword and weapon here. We'll just buy the... Uh, Let's buy armor for uh, Joaquin right now. Actually, let me save it first just to make sure. Uh, that way I don't waste my money on this. So. I mean, I'll be spending money. What I mean is not, you know, not getting super efficient in it. So, yeah, I'm not allowed to have a wallet. <laughs> I don't know how to have stuff. Uh, I think technically, let's see, does the next next area have any weapons I can get? Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't need to buy the dragon sword. I'll get that eventually. Uh, I don't see anything else in my notes here. I mean, if we get something later on, maybe, but... Uh, let's see. I'm looking at my... Nope, okay. Yeah, the dragon sword is the only thing I don't need to buy right now. So, we'll go ahead and, uh, might as well buy everything for everyone So while we're here. So, alright, let's buy the tortoise shell, halo thrasp, rasp, uh, adamantine rasp, uh, goddess fan, and snow flower. And then the, uh, doji kiri for, uh, Grundo. And then the uh, Kendo armor. I actually forgot who can equip this, so I'm just gonna pendle Kendo armor and Aesthetic Soul until I uh, until everyone else joins the group. Because I actually forgot who can equip what. So uh, let's see. I haven't really been upgrading my uh, my uh, armor recently because I haven't been buying upgrading Kendo masks or loin guards for everyone. I've been using all the old stuff. Uh, and yeah, we got frilly aprons here for the ladies. Probably should buy one of those just to have it. Because I don't think I get a frilly armor. If I do, it's way far down the line. So I'll probably buy you one just to have it in my inventory. Just to have one. Uh, oh yeah, I keep forgetting I want to buy spikes just to have it in my inventory. Okay, I think we're good for now. So, And if I don't get it on this first try, I'll just reload and do it again. So, There we go. I'm actually surprised I got it the first try. So... All right, Snowflower. Ceramic egg with a snow motif, a valuable Japanese antique. It can uh, it can convert physical impacts into cold that is used as a frostbite attack. And then uh, Aesthetic Soul. Stole worn by those who undergo a famously harsh aesthetic ritual. Imbued with their superhuman discipline, it gives greater protection than any armor. And then the Kendo armor. Oak kendo armor washed in the blood of countless fallen enemies. Ghosts form an invisible shield around which which a weak-willed adversary will quake in terror. Okay. Let's save it again since I got that the first go. So let's go fight Gamma. To get a new attack, so. Okay, the only thing I really need for Joaquin really is shield. For his crest magic. Uh, let's see. Do I have? If I don't, I'll just have to remove all the shields from it, or all the, all the. I'm glad that the game lets you basically remove people's things just in case you have people out. But I only need regular shields. So, all right, teacher, what do you got for me now? Teacher, what are you doing here? Yo, Waki, my boy. The path of the spirited young man knows no borders. How about it? Ready to give me a little of your sweat? But what are you doing here in Japan? What could be better? Men rubbing flesh, slummy bodies together here under the open sky. Would you agree, my boy? Of course! Uh, phrasing? That a boy! Why, uh, sorry, I'm using the wrong voice. That a boy? Why don't you show me a little of your sweat then? You got it! Here we go then! Gah! I'll just watch today now. Here I come! Gah! Oh yeah, that's the answer I wanted to hear, my boy! Gah! <laughs> Keep your eyes open! Today I'll be hitting you with an even deadly attack in the fifth turn! 
Ugh. Yeah, he's gonna hit us with a, uh, well, fifth turn, you yeah. know? But anyway. And uh, this is his new attack. Did he just do an epic belly flop? Yes, he did. Anyway, uh, well, I'll probably have to actually cast shield multiple times during this, but we'll go ahead and cast it now. Because we'll have to cast, uh, cast it again before he hits us with the so that's attack number one. Oh yeah, Great Gamma has 880 HP, he's lightweight, uh, light class. 3,000 experience, zero soul, zero MP, heavyweight. Uh, he drops 10 cash and a fifth key when you beat him. Which you'll find out why he drops that here in a second. Okay, so that's turn number two. Uh, let's see. Okay. This will be turn three. Let's see, that's three. This is this will be four. This is five, so let's defend now. Yeah, he hits us with fifth key, and it hits us all all the time. So, okay, now we're good. So, and we've got enough levels that we can handle it. Just hitting it with the desk. I don't know. Yeah, might as well cast shield again. I guess I didn't technically need to use the item, but I wanted to cover my bases, so. More belly flops. Why is it called the Arden Buster, though? I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over the crest we got. Well, I'll go over that here in a second. Yeah, sorry, Master. You are nothing to the power of levels. Yeah, one more turn, I guess. Dragging it out, are we? Probably would have been more challenging if I didn't actually buy his newest armor for that, but... There we go. See? I'm terrific. Sure you are, dude. Hey, we get some cash. <laughs> For not missing at all, but... Yeah, one is a 10% increase. Ooh. Well done, my boy. Your toil and sweat have paid off. Accept this new move from me. May it bring you to higher places. Literally. Wherever you want to test your skills, come back to me, my boy. The open air ring will always be waiting for you. Phew, I'm right out. All right, we learned the art of Buster for Joaquin there. Thanks, Master. All right, let's uh, let's look over that uh, crest we got. Oh, now we're invisible. Uh, the Boer, Boer crest, we get Arc Heal for, even though I hardly ever have to use it, but Cures Ring and Status Abnormalities. Very nice. All right. Now that we've learned that from Master, let's uh, actually I'm gonna go and save it. Although I don't really have to worry about that too much, but still. Okay. Now let's go to this way over here. We'll go to the other part of the uh, walkway. Yeah, the walking doesn't stand out at all. Look at him. So, okay. Uh, let's see. There should be an item here. Mana extract, all right. Okay, <clears throat> I think we found everything currently, so let's, oh, let me talk to you. Haruka, the, who follows fashion. 
So, how do you like that hair this hairstyle? It's called a permanent wave. It's all the rage now, you know. Is it the rage? Well, anyway, let's go to the uh, park for a scene. So, are you thinking about your father? Yeah. I can hardly remember anything from when I was a boy. The funny thing is, I can still hear the sound of that old ship. The one that took the three of us to China. Your father died while fighting this wizard who was planning to destroy all of Japan, is that right? Yeah. I was ten years old. And your mother? After my father was killed, monsters attacked us at our house. They were sent by Dehuai, that wizard. They killed my mother. Fate's a strange thing. My father gave his whole life to save Japan. And I'm doing everything I can to try to stop it. I think... I understand him. Huh? It wasn't for Japan. Your father was actually fighting... for you. And he was fighting for your mother as well. For me and my mother? I told you my family was poor, but that we were once nobility in Munich, right? Growing up, I worked harder than anybody else to keep the honor of our family name. If I succeeded in the army, I thought that it would reflect well on my family. I didn't do it for my country. I did it for my sick, bedridden grandmother that I left at home. But you see, I don't have a home anymore. It's been destroyed by those Sapientes Gladio bastards. That's why I really think that your father did what he did for the wife and the son that he loved. I'm sorry. No, I don't want that. I'm fine. It doesn't help to blame fate. It just makes you sad and bitter. Live every moment to the fullest and the future starts to look brighter. You're a strong woman, Karen. <sighs> That's right. You better remember that. <laughs> 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 She met my father when she was in Japan. And it was love at first sight for her. Was she pretty? I can't remember her face that clearly. What was she like? Why all these questions? Come on, I just want to know. We moved around a lot after we got to China. Finally, we settled in Mulan. But because my father was away, so much, 
My mother and I got to spend a lot of time together. She was a strong woman, but she was lonely too. Is that enough? This is embarrassing. No way. You're not stopping right now. Please, come on. <sighs> she had a hard time growing up, but she was happy in Japan with my dad. Of course, after we moved to China, she would sometimes complain about how her life went. Hmm. Then she'd always say, She'd be happy, no matter where she was, as long as she had me. Oh. But whenever I heard that, I became furious at my father for having left us. Naturally. It was my mother who named me Yuri. How did she pick that name? I guess that was the name of her first lover. <laughs> I can't hear what they're saying. He just said that he loved her. He really said that? Quiet. You're too loud. Oh, sorry. Uh. Yuri? May I ask you just one more thing? Yeah, I guess so. You might as well. Were you in love with Alice? Ah, <coughs> 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 oh, oh, my stomach! My stomach's killing me! Uh, uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Hey, come on! I'm serious, you know! Ouch! 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 Yuri, wait! <coughs> Cut it out! I swear, I gotta go! Oh. Uh. Hey, y'all, we weren't eavesdropping everything. By the way, this whole dialogue with, you know, talking about, you know, his mom and all this other stuff, and Karen liking Yuri, wait till we reach the ending of the game don't want to spoil too much but let's just say it's interesting huh what are you two up to? what are you up to no we were just eavesdropping and anastasia was basically shipping people the worst type of people anyway uh uh what huh <laughs> nothing nothing you're just taking a stroll <laughs> did you did you just hear something we felt it what the what the hell? What's that? Eek, a monster. Nikolai? Huh. For boss battle against, uh, uh, well, Shoki himself. So, let's take a look at this guy. So, Shoki has 4,550 HP, 455 MP, he's light, elemental, heavyweight. He drops 26,000 experience, 230 souls, 34,000 cash. He drops Seal of Vitality and Judgment uh, Tarot card on it. He's immune to poison, D poison, paralysis, Seal, Petrify, KO, P attack down, P defense down, S defense down, Delay, Evade down, HP down. And he can uh, cast uh, uh, Bright Magic. He can also Insta KO and Meteor fa Fail, or fa Fail, Fall. Uh, now the thing is, this fight is not the true Shoki fight. But I'm giving his stats now, so that way when we do fight him, I don't have to worry, go into detail. Um, but if you get uh, high combos, you get extra cash. Low enemy turns, you, get, you actually get a seal of the soul. And ring perfect, you get an extra soul. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that during the... I don't know if I'm powerful enough. I'll, I'll try to beat him as fast as I can. Well, I do have the mind's eye, but anyway. But yeah, we just have to fight him for now. So let's go in uh, fusion. kind of crazy with how much damage I do is uh look at that see he's almost dead but yeah this isn't the full version of the fight so
Yeah, the Bright Crest is basically just a light version of the Evil Crest, so... Oh, well. Let's take a snapshot of it. That way we can have him ready to go, so... Yeah, I'll just keep attacking him. Yeah, this will finish him off. There you go. That wasn't even a workout. Yeah, this fight doesn't give you as much, but like I said, when we do the full fight, I've already given you all the stats, so. It's gone. Look at the monster's blood. I hope it's not Chris's blood. Oh, a different franchise. Oh, it's a smaller version now. What the? It's multiplying. All right, once again, we fight another Shoki, but this one's a smaller Shoki. Uh, this is Kushoki instead. Uh, let me see if I have the stats for Kushoki. Yeah, has 244 HP, 144 MP. He's light elemental. Um, actually, I might wait because uh, I want to get a picture of him. Let me go and defend, I think. Let me go and uh, heal. Um, he's lightweight, normal weight, uh, light elemental, normal weight, 700 experience drop, two soul, uh, 1200 cash, drops a talisman of mercy, no rare items, he's immune to poison, deep poison, paralysis, petrify, P defense down, S attack down, S defense down, delay, slow, and HP down. Okay, let's just finish this guy. And we'll probably just finish him off, so I'll, I'll just, I'll just fight him, I don't I almost one shot him. There you go. Where's my apology? Nope, well, he's dead, so. Damn, that little, those little creatures are tough. Well, not really. What the? Over there! All right, wait, wait. Before we do that, let's go to the let's go over here and get this item. Here we get a seal of wisdom. All right. All right, let's go. All right, uh, Anastasia and Yuri gained a level, and yeah, you will get attacked by um, monsters out on the field here, the Kurashokis from before. So, but let's go meet with our allies. There you are. Is everybody all right? Nobody's hurt. We're, we're just fine, Karando. The whole city's in an uproar. What in the world is going on? There was this monster that showed up. Look over there, soldiers. Damn, what's with this country anyway? You know, I ask the same question all the time there, Yuri. All right, so for some reason we can do trials with Sarah for some reason? Okay, why? Uh, yeah, she's here for some reason. Uh, like during this fight and there's the brothers all scared. Yeah, I don't have unique dialogue for some reason. Okay, he does, but the other guy doesn't because we've gotten all his outfits, so he's relegated to that, so unfortunately I can't show off his dialogue. I guess I could have not gotten all the outfits just to show off his dialogue, but it's not that big of a deal. Eek, eek, leave me alone, go away, monsters, monsters. Oh, you're quick, before they eat you, you've got to buy something. All right, chill out. All right, I'll buy some more equipment for myself, so. Uh, let's see, so. Yeah, three more of these, and then. Yeah, three of these, but I'll uh, save it first before I do that. Just in case I fail. Now I'll readjust my characters here in a second, so. All 
Oh yeah, I need to show off that uh, one item I bought. Uh, okay, let me buy this the equipment though. Not that I need to buy it for everyone, but I'm going to anyway. All right. Oh, we. Uh, I didn't need to buy that much. Ah, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, anyway, we get the gold card for that. So now, as well as getting further discounts and bonuses, you'll be exempt from penalties when you fail to get a discount. So, so basically, we just don't get penalties anymore. Uh, but yeah, we've unlocked everything in the game. So, so you know, we can go up to fifty percent discount. And um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, now I have an extra circuit. Apparently, I didn't mean to do that. I was I was gonna show. Uh, selling yeah there we go uh, and the markup is up to 25 percent so yeah we don't have to worry about about anything anymore when it comes to that so all right let's show off everyone's new equipment yeah we'll get the next weapon for karen here pretty soon all right we got the tortoise claw venerated by people who worship the turtle it features a tortoise shell grip and a la laminated blade that causes jagged to hard to close wounds all right and equipped everyone. There we got that. Uh, Adamantine Rasp. Forged by a renowned blacksmith from Ultra Hard Diamond Ore, this file is said to be able to work any material in the world. Uh, and then the Dojikiri. A sword forged by Yatsusuna, famed blacksmith of Japan's Heian era, used by Shogun Yaromitsu Minamoto to slay a marauding spirit. A marauding spirit, a national treasure. Yet we can just buy it all of a sudden. Eh, that's just how it is, so... All right, Halo Thread. Halo Thread? Master Chief, is that you? A kindly monk unraveled this vestment to make this thread for the downtrodden. Even a century after his death, it retains a holy enchanted glow. Goddess Fan. A uh, holy fan made from the wings of the god of the sky. A sharp yet flexible, it can cool off the owner or decapitate an unwary assailant. Ugh. Okay, let me show off the, um, uh, where is it? Spikes. Made from the same year Matthews, the Wizard of Dribble, was born. He became the sensation of Europe wearing these boots. Allows resistance defense during battle. I don't even re worry. Well, resistance basically means you won't get shifted around when trying to combo, but I usually don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, where's the frilly apron? Uh, a deceptively devilish apron. Many a man has been held in its thrall since it was introduced to Japan during the Meiji era. Increases a woman's attack power. Yeah, it's only for f uh, women, so... Sorry, Joaquin, but you can't wear it. Uh, a charming woman's apron. Yep. Okay. Uh, if we talk to Karen, we'll go on to the next section. So let me do some prep for the boss here. And I'll be... Let me save it. And I'll be... Uh, not that I need major prep or anything like that. But all right. I'll be back after I've prepped everyone. All right. We're back on uh, on this. Make sure to equip... Uh, if anything... Um, Arc barrier and shield are essential for this one. The enemy we're fighting is uh, susceptible to S attack down and slow, so to put those as your ring customs. Equipment wise, make sure everyone's got a Leonardo's bear because this guy can do insta death, so that'll protect you from that. Other than that, just choose a party that's efficient at what it's doing. Oh yeah, let's go and heal really quick just because I had a uh, low HP. Okay, but yeah, you can choose whoever. I just choosing this group. But anyway, let's talk to Karen to continue on. Are you ready? Sure, let's move. Oh, I forgot. I've got something ready. No, let's move. Not good. Our soldiers are being wiped out. What is your wish? If this continues, many will die. Master, I believe the three of us together could stop it. Mm. Huh. Master! Over there! Uh. 
These are the Yokohama soldiers. Yuri! <laughs> I'll figure out something. I can feel Nikolai's spirit in it. Seriously, we're about to fight a boss? Damn it! About to fight a boss and we have to fight these small fry? Come. Huh? It's you. I'm Oka of the Mutant Apes. She's seen no evil. I'm here. Speak no evil. I'm right. Hear no evil. No. Oh, huh? Kato. Stop. I have no desire to fight you now. You mean to say first we stop the monster, huh? Yes. We'll take care of the weaker enemies. You handle the Shoki. You mean we fight together? Yes. Fine with me. After that, you start talking. Very well. Mutant apes, get us an opening. Yes, yes master. master. Yeah, we get to play as the uh, mutant apes again against the weaker creatures. So, yeah, just finish them off as fast as you can. Oh, you guys we could combo. Sure, why not? No real reason to. Are we just go sit there and wait for them to uh, uh, finish these guys off or something like that? Oh, that just moved them all over the place. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, whatever. Ah, come on! Whatever. Okay, if I mess that up. I mean, I could have done this in one go, but no. Had to, had to screw it up. Actually, how'd she get reset? She's supposed to be on a gambit ring, huh? Oh well, whatever. Well, at least we can see his combat dialogue. That's the first one. Yeah, I guess we're just... And Choki just waiting for us to kill them all, I guess. I guess this is how that works, huh? Anyway. Try to see if I can show up the combo magic again or not. There we go. That's what I wanted to show off. 
true strength comes from the mind. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> We've got a pure root for that. I mean, they're doing so well because they've got such high levels. One more and the job's done! Now, this time we can just... Well, the only problem with support bombing is it just flops them all over the place. It's kind of annoying, actually. Eh, I'll do it just for funsies. It just flopped all over the place. Just because I like seeing him go all over the all over the area. Even though this is uh not efficient. Ah, come on, man. Oh well whatever. I'm so used to the single ring that it just throws me off. You shouldn't have underestimated me. I don't know if monsters can underestimate you, but okay. I mean, they're not sentient in the same way you and me are. Elimination complete. Master, we did it. Good. Darn. They're strong. Ow! Okay, let's go. Alright, now it's our turn. Even though those guys are higher level, but whatever. Watch their battle very closely. They are our ultimate opponents. Yes, Master. I'll show you ultimate opponent for boss time against Shoki. So I've already gone over his stats from before. But since I don't have Anastasia, he's not going to be set up for that. So, all right, let's swap to uh, Fadiz. We want to finish this guy as fast as we can if we if we can. Mainly because of all the damage he can do, which is pretty high. But uh, unfortunately, I can't... Uh, Yeah, he's a little bit more defensive than before, but... Uh, let's go with Karando. Do I want to morph? This guy's light elemental, so... But my attacks wouldn't be light. And we'll stick with standard. Alright, let's get some crest magic going. So we want to get dark uh, arc shield ready to go, so... And then we want to get Arc Gale on everyone, and then Arc Barrier, and then we'll be good for buffs. I mean, Gale isn't highly prioritized because Barrier really is the big one, but unfortunately... Ow. Okay. Now we got Shit Shagun. Yeah, I probably should do Cure. Alright, and then Arc Rage. And then we'll be good. Oh, and Barrier as well, of course. I seem to not be activating my S attack down or slow on him. Oh well. Yeah, he's hitting us with all the hard stuff. Ouch. 
Actually, maybe I should switch him to the light elemental because he keeps hitting me with press blast. Hmm. Wasn't even thinking about that. Uh, probably have to heal Karan. Well, yeah, we'll just keep attacking. I probably don't really need a combo. I'm not trying to get the combo win for this one anyway, so... I mean, I could get high combos if I really want to. Uh, might have you, might have you heal maybe. Ah, whatever. Yeah, let's go ahead and even more actually. That way he won't hit me with Bright Crest anymore. So far we're doing a pretty decent amount of damage to him, so. There we go, guys, action speed down, finally. Yeah, this is why you want the Leonard's Bears on him. <clears throat> Yeah, doing quite a bit of damage to him. Um, yeah, I'm kind of using Blanca for healing, really. God, we're just wrecking this guy. Well, it doesn't help that I'm like, I've got Mind's Eye and Rage going on, so. And I've got all the physical party uh, powerhouses in the group, so. All right, finish him off, Blanca. <laughs> Doink! That should be enough low turns to get the item I want, so. All right, we got the Seal of the Soul for doing for beating him fast as we can, so. All right, we also got the Judgment card and the Seal of Vitality, too, so nice. Who has the lowest SP right now? Might use that on Anastasia at some point, but not right now. Ah, nice, decent level levels, too. Impressive. As expected. Now you're going to tell me where Nikolai is. Hmm. I sensed Nikolai in that monster. First, you take the emigre manuscript. Then, you take Nikolai. I'm here to put an end to this. It has nothing to do with you. Not good enough. Get any deeper into this and your very soul is in danger. Leave Japan at once. No way. Someone in this capital is pulling the strings, and I plan to find out who. No matter what? That lousy coward. He's hidden away while millions of lives are ruined. I won't let him get away with that. The Army's Hojo Research Facility. That's where you'll find Nikolai. He's still alive? Of course. But the minute you step foot in there, they'll use all their power to stop you. Sounds good. Very well. I'll be waiting. That right. So you came all this way to find this man you call 
Nikolai. Yes. A leading member of a secret society. And heir to the imperial throne of Russia. And now Ishimura has him. Ishimura? Foreign Minister Kantaro Ishimura. The one who truly controls the cabinet. So that's Kato's boss? Correct. He wields tremendous influence here. Recently, he's even formed his own army called the Iron Soldiers to consolidate his power. He also controls the Hojo Research Lab. That monster... and the mutant apes too? That monster was probably an experiment that somehow managed to escape. That laboratory has been conducting suspicious experiments for years, always involving new weapons research. It looks like Ishimura somehow plans to use Nikolai against Russia. Against, against Russia? Russia? That is correct. He may even open up a new front in the war. He's that crazy? He may be a bastard son, but there is no doubt that he is the prince. If we are not careful, Ishimura could use him as his pawn to seize power in Russia. No way! Do you think he can really do it? It's been done successfully many, many times in the past. If this war gets any bigger, a lot more people are going to die. What's truly scary is that he is willing to unleash his monsters on the world. Uh, but then... Hmm? I just don't believe Kato's capable of it. He wouldn't just blindly follow orders from someone like Ishimura. I'm sure he's planning something else. Why do you think so? He's got a good heart. In Shanghai, he protected your daughter all the way until the end. But even so, I can't see why he'd come all the way to Europe to help Sapientes Gladio get the Emigre Manuscript. Huh? Emigre... what? The Emigre Manuscript, a magic book that brings back the dead. So far, everyone that's been after it has been trying to use it for evil purposes. Last time it caused a hell of a mess. I don't believe it. I owe that man a great deal for bringing back Yoshiko's body all the way from Shanghai. I can't really believe that Kato would use that book to pursue evil ends. Hmm. What is it? Did you just remember something? That woman named Oka. From the mutant apes? What about her? When I heard her voice, I thought it sounded kind of familiar. Yuri, have you ever met her before? No, that was the first time. Well, so what? She sounded like... Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. What? My... Yoshiko? Is he all right? Yes. He's resting at the moment. It scared me when he fainted like that. You'd faint too if you heard that your dead daughter was still alive. But... Do you really think that Oka person is Lady Yoshiko? I didn't see her die with my own eyes. So I'm really not sure.
Couldn't we find out by paying a visit to the laboratory? What? <sighs> yeah. There's an idea. We'll just go right out and ask her, are you Yoshiko Kawashima? It's easy. Why didn't I just think of that? Are you sure? Of course. Hey, of course it's just that easy. Are you sure you're up to this, walking around and everything? Thanks for the concern, but I'm fine. I just had a little fright, that's all. Well, we thought you were dead there, old man. We're going out for a little while. You make sure you get plenty of rest. <laughs> People heading into danger have a distinct smell about them. And you guys reek of it. Now listen up. I won't stop you, but don't do anything stupid, alright? Yes, sir. Alright, now, if you've gotten really good perfect scores over the course of the game, not a while here will give you a unique, unique item. However, I do not have enough perfect ring score to get this, but oh, listen up, I won't stop you, but don't do anything stupid, alright? Now, if you at this point have gotten... Let me go to score again really quick. If you've gotten your perfect success rate to 65% by the... Well, we're Tows right now. Anyway, if you get this perfect ring success to 65% by this point in the game, Nana will give you an item called the Extreme! Um, I'll show that off. I actually have a... Uh, uh, I have an emulation file that I use for playtesting certain games, and I messed with this like a long, long time ago. So I'll I'll have a I'll splice in a scene uh, when we get a next uh, breakup point to show off what the extreme does. But basically, it's a really better mind's eye because it does triple damage, and you can actually technically see your rings before it disappears during the battle. Uh, really good item, but unfortunately, you have to be really good at the game to earn that reward. Yeah, triple attack power. That's insane. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get it on this run. I just didn't do well enough. Uh, really, if I was doing it off screen, I'd have to reload and redo sections over and over and over again just to get the perfect rings or set it. I wouldn't probably would be using gamble ring system either. I'd probably buy a bunch of coral pendants and put it on uh, so that way and probably set everyone to one attack. So that way I'd always get the biggest strike area and just do that over and over and over again uh, so that I wouldn't be as effective, unfortunately, in terms of pure damage. But, you know, be careful, Karando. Everybody be careful, okay? But yeah, so that'd be the way to probably do it, but I didn't do it on this run. But actually I'll probably splice it in here, so when we leave. Okay, we're here with a edited um file that I hacked a while back and uh I thought I'd pull up the old file here just to show off the item. Cause like I said, I'm not good enough at the game to get per enough perfects. So I thought I'd show it off, so I mean it's nothing really that crazy but uh yeah as you can tell this is a hacked file because i've got 99s of everything and then whatever uh uh some some unknown items that weren't coded into the game properly but this is the item i want to show off specifically uh is the extreme extreme uh mystical headgear given to the most elite of martial artists when more of the hit area and indicator just uh, disappears but the physical attack power is tripled which is crazy a really good reward for being able to get perfects at least i think you have to get uh, i think i mentioned earlier you have to get 65 percent perfect uh success rate uh, over the course of the game via your score it's one of the few times of the game where the score actually matters um uh, in it but no one ever tells you that it's just I forgot, uh, it was someone online who figured it out, maybe from hacking the game or whatever. I don't know how to hack the game to get perfect success scores just so to, uh, um, just to show off the dialogue, unfortunately, but I thought it'd be a neat little thing to, uh, to show, so hope you appreciated that. So anyway, back to the, uh, back to the main plot. All right, and we also unlock, as soon as we step out, we unlock the Hojo Research Lab. Yeah, yeah the Extreme is a cool item, too bad I can't show it off legit. Oh, well. Hey, let's head down to uh, Niho. Uh, let's do some, um, unlock some stuff before we head out. So let me go back to the Japan really quick. And we want to go to the Foreigner Cemetery. Before we call it an episode. Yeah, I'll be a little long, but that's fine. All right. Now, if we go to the, uh, if we go here, we find the ring soul again. All right. Yo. Oh, you. What's up with you? What's wrong? Isn't it going well with Miyabi? 
I don't know. Every night she's out until dawn. When I ask what she's been doing, she says it's work. But she can't be at work all the time. She's always saying she was a daddy's girl. She hates work. And she never talks to me when she comes home. She says she's tired. But she used to talk non-stop. You just couldn't keep her quiet. I don't know. Pretty bad, huh? And I can't work when I'm feeling like this every day. I think I'm going to have to give up this job. Your job is to go to us and give us attack boost. That's all you do. How hard is that? What? No, you can't. Who else would do this job? Why does it matter? It's not like you can't finish the game without me. True. I mean, I've already got the best attack boost on all my fighters at this point. So, yeah. After that, it's just the magic users. You can't think like that. Oh, Miyabi, you've got a younger man, haven't you? I'm trying to please you, but I'm just not as young as I used to be. I wish I still had it. You know, there's a little blue pill for that, right? What exactly are you referring to? Here, yeah, this is for you. Thanks? Yeah, I forgot Yuri says that here. Thanks. I was really good when I was younger. Oh, I hate getting old. Bye, then. Hey! I hope he's okay. Eh, when you're in a relationship issues like that, you know, it's uh, hard to tell. We only have, uh, I think we only have like, uh, yeah, like three more times to meet this guy too, so eh, we'll give it to Anastasia, sure. Even though I don't really use that, so. Alright. And then we should be able to get a, let's see, I'm, I'm trying to remember which grave it is here. I think it's further on, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, there's a dude here. Hey, man. Retired old man Iwa. Travelers from abroad, eh? You've got to go. You've come a long way. I hope you enjoy your stay. There's Yoshiko's there. grave there. Whoops. Alright. Is it this one? Yeah, okay. This one, we get a soul drop, so now we can get another uh, uh, fusion. And then this guy will give us an item. Azama, mindful of the ancestors. My father lived in this place, his life by the sword. This meant a lot to him, but I can't read all those foreign words on it. I guess it should be owned by someone who knows its value. Someone who travels overseas. Anyway, we got Nibelong scene number six. And uh, upgrade the bull and Fogel. Your sword skills are very impressive, young lady. They may even surpass those of my father someday. Wow, thank you, sir. We all turn to bones when we die, but we leave something behind. Everything we have now is thanks to our ancestors. Okay, just seeing if you have any extra dialogue. Okay, let's take a look at the... Uh, number six. Manuscript of Wagner's opera, The Ring of the Nibelung. The sixth chapter has Siegfried restoring the magical sword Notang. Or Notang? I forgot how it's actually pronounced. But anyway. Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright, whoops. Wrong button. All right, let's go back to uh, the Imperial Capital and Niho uh, Nihonbashi. Actually, maybe I should save it really quick. Let me save it. Uh, because there's a lottery member we're going to find here. He pops up when you, uh, after the whole events with everything. Let's see, anyone have any new dialogue? No. Wait, let's do the lottery member just to get this out of the way, so. Gambling Maniac Kanahiri. Oh yeah, another day, another win. I don't care if it's illegal. I've never given up gambling. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Anyway, you into two rights gambling and stuff? You wanna play? Try and stop me. Alright, this guy has a warning br device, zodiac bracelet, hit area expand, and pure route root. So we finally get, after all this time... We finally get the item that prevents us from getting surrounded. In the last game, we got that one pretty early, but it's like, well, not quite the end of the game, but like, like what, 60% of the game, and we finally get the warning device? Uh, but anyway. All right, anyway, so let's try to win it. Oh, wow, I'm surprised I got it the first try, so... Woohoo, you're a wahoo, you're on fire. Now we get the warning device for that, so. Alright. Uh, okay, so now let's go to the park. And there's Sarah again, if you want to do the trials. We still can't, uh, 
Let me, well, let me talk to these guys and then I'll talk. Yeah, you know, see that wolf right there? Miyaki, worried about the future. There's a government and army program to recruit students and youths recently. They call it the Youth Corps. It all sounds fine, but it just ends up as another part of the army. Yep. Sounds something similar to Across the Seas in World War II, huh? Maiko, mad about mascots. Have you seen the animal mascots they have overseas? They're so cute. I wish you could buy them in Japan. Oh, lady, do you not know the future? Oh, that stuffed animal's so cute. I love it. Let me see. Look, the little panda's got gloves on. Ah. And it talks if you touch its belly. Cool, I want it. Please give it to me. You will, won't you? Great. No way. You're mean. I'm so upset. Now you have to give me the stuffed animal to make up for it. I said no. All right. Let me go and save it really quick because I actually want to... Uh, I want to give it to her just to show off the item you get from it. But we don't want to actually give her the item. Uh, because we don't... Uh, she's not part of the trading one I want to use, so... Oh, sorry, she says something different. Uh, it's weird for a guy to have a stuffed animal, but you could give it to me. Don't keep saying no. I forgot people actually have extra dialogue if you reject them. Well, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, fine, have it then. You're sure? Cool, thanks. You're the best. Here, you can have this. You can tell everyone back home it's a specialty of Japan. Anyway, just get a third key. I mean, that's great, but that's that, that basically ends the trading quest line, and we don't want to do that. So... Just wanted to show off what happens if you give that to her early, so. But yeah, Sarah's here if you want to do the trials, but uh, we don't need to do the trials right now, so. Haruko follows fashion. Oh, yeah, that's the permanent weed girl, so. Yeah, if you need to do the trials for some reason, we can do them right here, but nope. Okay. So, as before, Blanca needs a special item, so we want to equip him with the... Uh, uh, let's see... For this one, we want to call, we want to equip a pocket watch on him. I could equip the let's see, what's his ring at right now? That's about the same spot as Yuri's, so I could give him the mind's eye, uh, which would make this a fight a lot faster. Hmm. Might do that actually. So let's give him the mind's eye and the coral pendant. Because it's in the exact same spot as Yuri's, so. All right, what, is that wolf purple? Or pink, I mean? It's wearing makeup, ugh! Oh, uh, no, uh, sorry, it's the, it's the uh, in-game model looks kind of creepy, but the actual model is fine. It's the great Blanca. <laughs> Oh god, it's a stalker. At last we meet. Oh, how I've waited for this day. Kalu Kale. No, she didn't say that. Excellent question mark. As soon as I saw you, I knew, I knew you were my prince. Oh god, it's even, it's a wolf with uh, with a mascara. Oh, the horror. There's probably someone on the internet who finds this attractive. Ugh. I crossed the seas chasing after you. Look at everything I've collected. Some scrap bones you left behind. A snow white fur ball you hacked up. I don't understand what she's saying, but it looks like you a kook has fallen in love with you, boy. Look, you. Knock it off. I'm not interested in you. How can you be so cold? You're my prince. Don't forget. You love me, don't you? You understand exactly how I feel, right? She's got to come at us with a knife, isn't she? How could I? I just barely met you this second. That's mean. I give you my heart and you trample it. I'll never forgive you. And if you can't be mine, no one will have you. Yeah, this is what we call Yandere. This woman's crazy. Better run. Skiva, it's the cops. What else can I do? I'll fight. Now I'll show you the fury of a woman scorned. This is a scary situation. I guess this woman simply can't resist my charm. Hell hath no fury like light for boss time against Eleanor. She has 810 HP. She's water uh, elemental, 2,000 experience, no soul drop, no MP. She's lightweight. She drops 2,500 cash, and you can, she dropped the frilly apron and stole his crest. So usually I'd buff her. Oh, and she can do small ring. That's why I wanted the pocket watch on her on uh, 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 Blanca here. So 
Well, if I didn't, if she didn't dodge attacks. There we go. Yeah, she can cast magic and all this other stuff, but it's not really that bad in terms of damage. We should be able to finish her off as long as she doesn't dodge any more attacks. Alright. Take this, you crazy lady. Ah, oh, you got to be kidding me. Well, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Well, whew. All right. Let's try this again. Oh, I, I was like, oh, man. I'll have to re uh, redo this, but nope. Whew, that was close, actually. This is what you get when you play the risky game of the Judgment Ring, huh? Whew. That was dangerous. If you can't set aside your feelings, you shouldn't be fighting in the first place. I didn't think you'd be so strong. Well, I did use a mind's eye on him, so... Can't believe I missed that hit. <laughs> After that fight, now I know how you really feel. What do you mean? You'd rather I stayed home and raised the kids, right? I understand. That's not what he meant, lady. Uh huh? Now wait just a minute. No need to be shy, but let's make sure we get this down on paper, okay? Uh, this lady's crazy. Anyway, the soul co comet powers up and gets another hit to add it to it. Hurry home every night after work, okay? You don't want me to worry. Let me out of here. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri's like, what's going on here? Yeah, that, that that's, yeah, that's kind of creepy, so. What else do you have to say? I'll be waiting for you forever and ever. Ah! Run! Get away from her! Anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over some of the crests I got. So we got the, um, Stolas Crest. From her. Which gives us Arc Plus and Arc Heal. Uh, what was the other, uh, one I got earlier? Uh, oh yeah, we got the Judgment Card. I'm trying to remember. I thought there was another one we got. Uh, no, I already went over the... Did I go over the Bower Crest that I got? Well, anyway, it's Arc Heal. So. Okay. Sorry, I just... I forgot if I mentioned that or not, so. Okay, so we got the that from her. Oh, yeah, Judgment Card. I don't think I ever read over that. Uh, where is it? Judge, or, where is it? Uh, judgment. Card depicting the final judgment. It signifies rebirth. Reversed, it signifies the end. If drawn, one more card may be drawn. Always positive. So this gets you basically uh, multiple card draws. Uh, but like most things, it's a, a crapshoot. So, all right. Well, we've got a action-filled episode right there. But uh, uh, you know, saving the town and everything with that. But we're not quite done yet with this place. Now we know that we that might be the old old colonel from way back in the wind. We just got to ask her personally what the whole situation is about. What do we find out down in the research lab? Will we become research lab rats ourselves? Find out next time in the next episode of Shadow Hearts Covenant. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.